good things come to those who wait. This is The Shadow King. Directed by Henry Selleck, the mind behind The Nightmare Before Christmas and Coraline, this movie had all the pieces in place to be an instant classic. In the early 2010s when production was kicking off, we got The Shadow King synopsis. It's about an orphan who has fantastically long fingers and needs to hide it from the rest of the world. When a girl teaches him how to create hand shadows that come to life, he uses those shadows against a monster trying to cause destruction. What? Richard's right. I'll never make shadows with these. <laughs> okay. That's weird and disturbing, but like, in the best way possible. This was a direct partnership between Henry Selleck and Disney, meant to capitalize off the success of Jack Skellington. You'll find miscellaneous art and footage of the movie floating around, but as for the end result, it was never finished. Unfortunate. Despite pouring millions of dollars into it, Disney didn't agree with Selleck's version of the story. It was completely shut down. For its incredibly well well thought out premise and intriguing characters, The Shadow King deserved to get made. As the years went on, Selleck decided to pursue the new project of Wendell and Wilde, and it seems like this would never see the light of day. Well, the situation just took a surprising turn. Over the past few months, Wendell and Wilde has put Selleck's name back in the spotlight. He's been doing interviews and talking about the past, present, and future of where he's headed. During a recent talk with content creator Double Toasted Interviews, Selleck reveals what's happening with the Shadow King. But guess what? I got the rights back from Disney. And maybe if, uh, if uh, the new film is considered a success, Maybe I'll revive the Shadow King. Yeah, it would be, um, it'd be different. It'd be like my original story, which they claimed they loved, but then changed everything in it. Yeah. Uh, it would be more like that. It would have to be. I thought that was a good good story, and I, I still think it is. The key takeaway here is that Selleck has the rights back from Disney. That's awesome. If another studio swoops in to take him on the offer, then the Shadow King will be revived. If you want to help make that happen, go watch Wendell and Wild. Seriously, Netflix pays close attention to how many viewers their content gets after releasing. If Wendell and Wild is popular, who knows? Maybe they'll make a deal to bring back the Shadow King. All I know is that Selleck deserves respect, and I think he'd really like to make this movie. Let's cross our fingers. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.